Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another Legend of Korra reaction. We are on episode 9 and 10. Yeah, so last, last episode's crazy, crazy stuff. We got the, the whole origin of the Avatar, basically. Um, yeah, I was not expecting that. I, I was hoping that was going to happen in Avatar The Last Airbender, but uh, yeah, they kind of just, yeah, they didn't do it. And yeah, so they saved it for Korra, I guess. Uh, crazy two episodes. They, they pretty much, it was pretty much like another show. Like, just, I think I said that a bunch, but yeah, it was pretty much a whole new show. Really cool, really cool backstory. And I guess, yeah, we're going with the whole, was, what was it, Vatu and um, Rava? Rava and Vatu, yeah. I'm assuming that's gonna kind of, um, Vatu's gonna play into it. He, we saw him locked in like a prison in the in the spirit world or near the spirit world. Yeah, near the portal or in the portal. Um, I'm assuming that's what uh, Unalak is trying to do. He's trying to, he's made like a deal with Vatu to free him in return for like power, I guess would be the logic uh, or the, the plot. Um, and we know Vatu's like good at uh, manipulating humans. So yeah, he's probably pretending to be something he's not maybe and that type of thing um, like he did to, uh, to Juan. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Speaking of one, I I, I realized he was. I, I figured he, may, he must be like a, a famous actor, and yeah, it was Stephen Ewan who was the voice of him. Um, I'm not too familiar with anything he's really been in, but I've when I looked up his when I looked him up, I was like, oh, I recognize him. I've seen him in like something before. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, so theories I have. Um, yeah, I kind of already spelled it out. That, yeah, like Unalak, I'm assuming is trying to free Vatu to like thinking Vatu will help him like take over the world but that's not really what Vatu's all about Vatu is probably tricking him something to do with that I've got to assume um and yeah uh yeah Korra Korra's back she is flying back and it should be a good time yeah really excited you guys have pretty much said this season it gets crazy after these two episodes so yeah really looking forward to it let's just um let's just hop into it um yeah and i did make a discord recently i've been saying this in the last few videos but if you're interested uh hop in there not too many tv and movie people from my uh youtube yet um most of them are like from my sports channel but yeah lots of uh hoping to get them like nice and active as the channel grows and stuff it'll be a good way to communicate with you guys easier um discuss the shows all that all that good stuff um yeah and yeah, make sure to drop a sub if you're not, like the video, comment uh, your theory, not your theories, your comment, anything I might miss that's important without tr trying to spoil, of course, though. Um, luckily, I've, I haven't really gotten, there was like one comment, I think, during the Avatar reaction that that actually kind of spoiled like the plot of Korra, which, I mean, that doesn't really matter, I guess, but it, I, I did kind of want to go into Korra like pretty blind, but there, yeah, one of you guys, I forgot to do, but one of you guys kind of said like, that you'd be seeing out Aang and all of them, so that was kind of annoying, but it's whatever. As long as it's not like actually spoiling like the the series like as a whole, I guess, is yeah, it's fine. Anyways, yeah, let's just hop into this and yeah. Chapter nine, the guide. <laughs> gotcha. What is that? Furryfoot, come back. <laughs> Furryfoot. It's like a rabbit. Um, Jinora, there you are. What are those called? On, everyone's waiting. Were you playing with someone? Ooh. Oh, just some imaginary friends. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so they're spirits. What, what, what were those called? Is that a dragonfly? Is that, is that what I'm thinking of? A dragonfly? It's like a dragonfly rabbit. I don't know, man. I'm so bad at like animal All right, names. <laughs> exciting tour of the Eastern Air Temple. Got a lot to see today. Cora. 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 <laughs> Wait, you don't know about the Civil War? Oh shit. No. We've been what? in touch with the outside world. I completely forgot about that. Everything? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I opened a spirit portal at the South Pole, and <laughs> Unalak turned out to be a bad guy and wanted to take control of the South, so I sort of started a civil war, but when I went to find some help, I was attacked by my cousins, and then by a giant dark spirit, and then I forgot who I was, and then I met the first Avatar, and then I realized I shouldn't have opened the portal in the first place, and now I need to close it again. <laughs> I knew this would happen. What? <laughs> Shut so up, Tenzin. Avatar Wan imprisoned this dark spirit... And now I think my uncle is trying to free yeah. him. 
Yeah. I knew Unalak was hungry for power, but never realized how far he would go to mm -hmm. get it. I have to enter the spirit world. Ah, okay. A journey to the spirit world. I will help you. Today, we enter the spirit world. I think they're going to need, uh, is that, was it Janora? Janora seems to have a connection to the spirits, so. I told you it wasn't our fault. You're right. It was my fault for trusting you. <laughs> is he going to show his kids Avatu, or? There it is. The northern portal. Hmm. Oh, the Avatu's in the middle there. Okay. This is so cool. This area. Oh my god. What is that? Hmm. Asami, there you are. Is Bolin around? Up here! Good. I've got something to tell you both. I found out who's been stealing from Future Industries. Varric. What? He wants Republic City to go to war, and he wants control of the businesses that stand to profit the most from it. He already had all the yeah. shipping. All he needed was Future Industries. Like you've had a pretty busy week. Maybe you just need to relax. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you two? Oh! <gasps> You're dating again? What? Dating? No. <laughs> Guys, listen to me. Like, are you Varric fucking kidding me? No mm -hmm. Yeah, they both have too much to gain from Varric at the moment. They're in denial. Uh oh. This very garden is where my father met Guru Patik. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we, this is, we're going to find out Junora is like, super in touch with the spirit world, I think, right? Oh my god. <laughs> his bell at the appropriate <laughs> intervals. Um, <laughs> did I do it wrong? <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool... Yeah, Janora, okay, those are spirits, right? Yeah, we... yeah. Janora is totally in the spirit, or seeing spirits, at least. Mm -hmm. Hey, Janora, what are you chasing? Nothing. Okay, come on, tell all your parents. What's going on with you? Tenzin, First your yeah. First Milo, then Kaya, now me. Well, nothing is feeling right to me. Well, he's never been, actually, yeah. I've never yeah. been into the spirit world. <laughs> They're all there. It's my greatest shortcoming as an airbender, spiritual leader, and son of Ang. Interesting. <laughs> Welcome to That's interesting. So so he he has me able to connect to his like spiritual side, and she also struggled with that before. She obviously is connected now, but she was like not very spiritual at all. I disappoint Dad Club. There might be another way. Janora, is yeah. there something you want okay, to tell Okay, good, good, okay, good. Do you have any knowledge about spiritual matters? Oh my god, Tenzin. I think I do know where Cora needs to go to. My spirit friends showed me. Ooh. It's okay, you can show yourselves. Whoa. <laughs> How did you do that? Actually, they're are dragonfly Dra spirits. I got it right. Let's I go. Knew it. Looks like she does know something about I'm not powers. dumb. Dragonfly bunnies. I guess I've always kind of had a connection with spirits. Spiritual energy is historically strongest oh my. near the temple. Tenzin. No offense, but I'm guessing the spirits have actually been to the spirit world, so I'm going to follow them. <laughs> Father, haven't the spirits had 10,000 years to open this portal? We bring with us something the spirits never had. Our bending. Whoa. Jeez. He needs a healer at once. This is more important. Jeez, okay. Is she gonna turn on his on her dad? I'm taking him back. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you've got some ideas. You wanna tell me about them? I heard you've been investigating the recent attacks on my ships. And I think you know that I know that you know. <laughs> no. No way. That the world is a dangerous place. We want you to join us. You wouldn't want anything to happen to Asami, would you? Uh, Ooh, that's a again? threat. That is what a threat. What about your brother? I want your help to protect them. Without you, who knows what could happen? That's not good. Okay, so where are they going here? Your father's not mad. His pride's just a little. Yeah, he's jealous. Since not he's mad. Sea spirits like you. You actually got to meet the first Avatar. Mm -hmm. I know about a lot of Avatars, but I don't know anything about him. He was amazing. I saw how he became the first Avatar by fusing with Rava. The Avatar is part spirit? I was drawn to this old carving. I couldn't figure out what it was until now. 
When okay. Did this happen? That's what I said, I think. That's the day I opened a southern portal. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, where is this? This is like interesting. There's a hole down there. Isn't that a hole in the middle? There's a lot of spiritual energy in this place. Is this what are you talking about? That they're they're not on a, a lion turtle, are they? This is in the back of a lion turtle. It looks kind of like that the place Aang went in the finale, but I don't think it is. Do they not see there's like a hole in the ground right there? Or is that, or is that not job. a hole? Whoa. Ugh. What is that? Is just spirit bat things? They look evil. That's not ideal. Oh, is she gonna control them? Yeah. Yeah. Spirit bending? Come on. Can she do it now? Pretty consistent? Man, her arms are jacked. Holy crap. Spirit bending. Let's go. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Hey, what's down there? Your spiritual training has come a long way. Unalak may be a horrible person, but his spirit powers are no joke. So Tenzin's like so down and out right now. <laughs> I need you now more than ever. I won't let you down. <laughs> All these years, my father's dream for me will finally come true. <laughs> okay, what's up with Marco? Maybe I do need to get my mind off things. Oh shit. Okay. Hey Mako. Hope we didn't interrupt you two lovebirds. <laughs> We were trying to figure out who stole Asami's stuff, so we hired them for a sting operation. According to the triple threats, you did more than that. They said you helped them steal a warehouse full of Future Industries property. Looky what I found. Cash. Mako, I don't know where those came from. You're under arrest. None Jeez, of that is mine. Jeez, set up by Varric, yeah. No one you'd hook up with your old pal. He was using you the whole time. They're, they're, those two cops are paid off by Varric. They gotta be. To Varric. They're too like it's slimy. Varric. He set me up. It's okay, Tenzin. Maybe you weren't meant to guide Korra into the spirit world. It's not your destiny. I think Janora was meant to guide the Avatar. I spent years training, mm. studying, and mastering everything there is to know about the spirit world. Kaya is right. I can guide Korra into the spirit world. Yeah, Tenzin wants to be more important than he Perhaps is. Maybe. I will never have the connection with spirits like I always wanted. His importance is, is something or something else. I'm not not for this. <laughs> the markings on the statues look like smiling faces. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. The spirit world. The avatar still lives. I can still feel her presence. I'll find her. Is that? Yeah. She has just entered the spirit world. Okay. Yeah, so that's episode, uh, episode nine. Yeah, cool episode. A lot, lot of spirit world talk, which is obviously some of the best stuff in, uh, in Avatar and Korra. Um, yeah, just a thought at the end there, though, just occurred to me. The rap, uh, Vatu and, uh, Rava, Vatu and Rava, yeah, where the, their actors might be, their voice actors might be famous. Let me actually look that up really quickly, because yeah, Vatu, the name that just popped in my head was was James Earl Jones, but I feel like they probably didn't get him because he's probably like hugely expensive to get as a voice actor. But let me check. Yeah, John. Okay, yeah, Jonathan Adams is the voice actor. So like he is a huge. Have I seen him before, Jonathan? He looks vaguely familiar. What about, what about, uh, R Rava? No, okay, I don't, I don't recognize her. All right, anyways. Yeah, so, yeah, so that was a good, good episode. Um, all these kind of seem like they're, like, almost like part one, part twos type things now. They're, they're like, um, well, I guess, yeah, that's how, that's how all, all the sh these shows go. They're, it's a story, it's a storyline, uh, for the whole season, pretty much, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I think pretty much my theory was true. Yeah, like Vatu's like tricking Unalak into freeing him. Maybe not tricking him, but like, yeah, deceiving, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't realize how bad it is if he lets Vatu out. He thinks that there's like 
an upside for him, but there's not. Like, there's no reason for Vatu to honor his side of the deal, whatever whatever it was. Um, and yeah, we did see Unalak also like pretty much abandon his kids, uh, saying this is more important than his son. So that's probably maybe not quite yet, but like maybe one more instance of that, and his children will be completely against him. Hopefully, join up with Korra potentially. Um, yeah, so that that's probably the plot. Or that's that's my guess, I guess, for that. Um, yeah, interested to see that what where Janora goes with uh, with Korra. Um, definitely risky for Janora to be in the spirit world because obviously it's pretty dangerous in there, and she's like not fully trained yet as like an airbender and all that. Um, or she's she's not a master. She's pretty good at that stuff. But yeah, um, and yeah, I guess my, I think I think I did say that the. Uh, the statue that Avatar or that uh, Janora saw, I think I did guess that it was the first Avatar. I guess it was either the first Avatar or like a like an evil Avatar. So, I mean, it wasn't an evil Avatar, but yeah, I think I think it was on the right track there. So that's good. That's cool. It's good that I uh, <laughs> I'll pat myself on the back for that. But yeah, and then the whole Tenzin thing. The Tenzin thing's interesting because yeah, he he obviously there's obviously a lot of like. Is baggage the right word? No. Sort of like being, obviously being like the Avatar's son is like a huge, like, not burden, but like you're kind of living in your father's shadow in that case. And you want to like, you feel like you have to be as important or like live up to expectations, I guess. But yeah, based on the limited info we have about Tenzin, he kind of seems like, like his, his, uh, like death, not destiny. Like he just needs to continue on the air, like continue the airbending traditions, and like make sure his children and his family is like taken care of and all that. that that's that seems like his role in this. Um, yeah, like that. That that's extremely important as well. Like obviously expanding the avatar or the the airbender, expanding airbending is obviously like extremely important. Like he's basically in charge of like continuing airbending and like expanding it um yeah i feel like they almost should be <laughs> him and his wife should be popping out kids like every like back to back to back for like 20 years that's that should be <laughs> that pretty i guess they are yeah they are they are pretty much or every every few years at least you know like janora yeah they, they might be no every every like three years it seems like i think is what they're doing yeah but yeah they should be they should be on that even more come on come on guys come on we need like 20 kids out of you um anyways yeah well, let's hop in the next one that's probably my longest uh, episode or in between episode discussion um that i've done so let's just hop in the next one um yeah episode is that episode 10 episode 10 and then we got two two more episodes after that for the finale yeah yeah okay let's hop in the next one all right guys i just watched the first five minutes of this episode without recording by mistake so apologies um i'm just gonna skip through it because i don't really feel like rewatching it but i'll uh yeah let's just get through it chapter 10 a new spiritual age yeah, I'll, I'll, this part was really funny like so let me, let me watch this again <laughs> the avatar you think they met ang in the I past maybe i heard Unalak did that no i did <laughs> here comes the trippy get stuff get away from me yeah. Ugh. Did you guys see that? <laughs> she tried to bend at us in our own holes. In our Get own her. holes. Ah! <laughs> making it worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, this is so trippy. What I was saying when this happens, yeah, that every time we go in the spirit world, there's always some crazy trippy stuff going on. So this is about to be crazy. But they, they get eaten here and they end up in like a weird river thing. Yeah. All right. Damn, I only watched two minutes of this. Okay, this this is where I realized I wasn't recording. Whoa. Okay, those are the creepiest looking spirits we've seen. I think they're giving like Dementor vibes from. Oh my god. Okay, that never mind. That one's even creepier. Its eyes are like. Jeez. That's a hand. Janora. Oh, that was a hand. Oh my god. That is so creepy. And then Janora is just in like a in a lovely little field. All right, yeah. In the spirit, yeah. Okay, in the spirit world, I remember this happened with um. It kind of like you can get lost in like your your biggest fears or something is what happens. I think we saw that in an avatar. 
I know we saw it in the in the live action Avatar for sure, where everyone was they got they were like lost in the spirit world and like got sucked into their fears. Um, okay, this might not be good though. Furry What's gonna happen here? Is that you? Oh Good my god, it's it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose you know where Cora is. What's gonna go wrong here? Maybe she doesn't have any fears? Be no, that wouldn't make sense. Everyone has fears. Ooh, that is really cool. It's like an awesome tree house. Whoa. When Grandpa N came here. It's Wanji Tong Spirit Library. Ooh, okay. <laughs> ah! Get away! Oh. I'm sorry I spotted you. You just scared me. <laughs> you two look lost. Oh. Maybe I can help. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Ira. good friends with Avatar. Oh my god. Ira. <sighs> Hello, Cora. Let's go. What? What? Is he pulling like a... This is like when... um Ah, what's his name? I'm so bad with names. What, what, what was uh, Aang's friend when he was a kid? Uh, you guys are gonna kill me for forgetting his name. He was, yeah, he was awesome. Whatever, you guys know who I'm talking about. I'll remember it. But yeah, it's like a similar sequence where he was like waiting in the spirit world, I guess, to help guide people. I'm glad you came to visit us in the spirit world, Cora. Mm -hmm. You came just. Is there gonna be more than one person we know? To celebrate oh no, just a bunch of spirit. <laughs> To fight it, but you really grow on me. <laughs> oh my god. Love yourself to some tea and cakes. Some tea. They are spirit cakes, so you won't gain oh any weight. Who is the guy right there? When you were Avatar 1, you used it to carry the light spirit, Rava. Oh, okay. Well, I was not expecting to see Iroh at all. Oh, the, the, okay, this is the library. Is this, the, yeah, this is the library with the owl? I always forget the owl's name. Yeah. Let's go, okay. Yeah. Oh, is he? The, oh, no, he's dead, Professor okay. Professor Zay. So you should know that humans are okay. no longer allowed in my library. The humans have invented radio. Yes, I am well aware of the radio. <laughs> there is a box, and inside the box there is a tiny man who sings <laughs> and plays musical instruments. <laughs> I did not know this. <laughs> Apparently, I have been fed some misinformation about the existence <laughs> of tiny men in boxes. You <laughs> came with the Avatar, hmm? Well, why didn't you say so? So he's friends with the Avatar now. Because they, they didn't leave on a good note, from what I remember. So I guess Aang must have they patched things up. Game of oh my god, Pasho. By the spirits. Hmm. What is that? Okay. It's like a weird Bulbasaur. It's a game that requires great patience. I had always enjoyed the company of the spirits. I chose to leave my body behind. And come to the spirit world. Nice. Yeah, that makes be sense. A wonderful place. We need to find her. She's lost, and we need to go home. I don't like the spirit uh -oh. world. I don't want to be uh -oh. here anymore. Whoa! That visual is so okay. Yeah. So your your energy. Cora, please stop. Look at what you're doing to everyone. Yeah. Your emotions become your reality. Ah, uh, okay. Especially for the Avatar. <laughs> Look at his face in the back. There you go. That looks so cool. Okay. That if you look for the light, you can often find it. But if you look for the dark, that is all you will ever see. Hmm. I'm looking for my friend. I want her here now. <laughs> I'm afraid finding her won't be so easy. But what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'll take him home. Jeez. <laughs> That's where Avatar Wan imprisoned Batu. The elders okay. believed that as long as the portals are closed during the harmonic convergence, Batu will remain imprisoned and the battle between good and evil will not be fought again. During the harmonic convergence, this energy will be great enough to allow Vatu to break free from his bonds. Jeez, okay. <gasps> we have to warn Kor- uh -oh. He had a visitor. I had to see it with my own eyes. Won't she tongue? How can you be helping him? Unalak has proven to be a true friend to the spirits, unlike the Avatar. How? Why would you want to help Vatu escape? <gasps> oh no. Whoa. Okay, that's not good. This is something that you must do on your own. 
Mm -hmm. You have light and peace inside of you. If you let it out, you can change the world around you. Many things that seem threatening in the dark become welcoming when we shine a light on them. Hmm, okay. Some good Iroh wisdom. Good okay, time for you to go home. <laughs> All right, Iroh. No, oh my god. I'm not. They look so creepy. You're not scary. It's okay. You can be my friends. <laughs> oh, <this. laughs> like a dragon dog or something? Is that what that's supposed to be? It's supposed to be like a phoenix. Watch out though, you're about to get ambushed. I'm going to wipe you out for good. You might want to reconsider. That is, if you want to save your friend. Oh no. Trusted you. You made me think you wanted to restore balance with the spirit. Open the portal, or lose your friend's soul forever. Is this guy dumb though? Like I don't. I still don't understand. Like, stop. Is he that? Like, how does he not realize that Vatu is just gonna play him like immediately? I don't. Know. This seems to be a giant plot thing to me, but. She can get into this. Let's go, Phoenix. Let's go. Nice. Okay, he's okay. He's he's not free yet. Okay. Then I will have my revenge. Yeah, like does you not not hear that and go like maybe I shouldn't do this? Like, was Janora able to help you? Tenzin, I'm I'm sorry. Why isn't she waking up? What happened to my little girl? Oh shit. Jeez. That's not good. Alright, so that was episode 9 and 10 of Legend of Korra Season 2. Yeah, crazy stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's always like... I, hmm. I'm just trouble, I'm having trouble understanding why Umlock is... Like, thinks this is going to work out for him at all. Like... Is he dumb or is there something we're missing? I don't I don't know. Like I don't see any scenario where Vatu like doesn't just like she's just gonna destroy the world. So what's Unalok's whole like plan here? Like is he just pure evil? Like I don't I don't understand. Um Yeah, that's kind of that's, that's I, I hope they explain that soon. And it's not just like something as simple as he's dumb. Like I hope there's an actual like maybe Unalok has something a way to like keep Vatu in check. I don't. I don't know. Um, Cause yeah, like Unlock just being like a big bad that just like wants to take over the world. Kind of is kind of not doing for me as the bad guy at the moment. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so Janora, Janora went is got taken away. She she'll be fine. They're not gonna kill Janora. Come on, that'd be crazy. But I don't think they would do that, right? That seems a bit a bit crazy to me. Um, Unless she becomes some sort of like, she could become so, some type of like spirit, like a spirit guide of some sort down there. Cause she's so spiritually like um, advanced, I guess, or connected. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The main thing for me is just, I'm just having trouble understanding Udalok's, um 
side of things and why he, like obviously he wants power but i just don't get how he expects us to work out positively for him like yeah i don't know yeah i don't have a ton much more to say other than that um crazy visuals though oh yeah iroh seeing iroh was awesome unexpected but awesome um yeah, I guess, yeah, he was just kind of chilling, chilling in the spirit world, that's expected, because he's, yeah, he obviously is really, was really into that type of stuff, and, yeah, so that was really cool to see him, hope we see him again, and I, I, I do, I, they're kind of, like, slowly introducing people from the past shows in, into, into Korra, so maybe you won't see any, any other big names this season, they're probably saving them, like, one or two per season they bring back, um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know, let's, let's just wrap it up there, um, yeah, I think I, need, I just need more info from Moonlock side of things. I think hopefully we get that explained next episode, or next in the next couple episodes here. Because um, yeah, I'm just having trouble wrapping around, wrapping my head around how he expects us to work out for him, which I've said like four times now. So <laughs> let's just end it there. Um, yeah, make sure to hop on the Discord if you're interested in that type of thing. Uh, not very active at the moment. Not, not too many people in there, but yeah, ho hoping to get people in there. Um, yeah, make sure to drop a sub if you're not subbed. I think we're almost at 100. I think we're at like 85 as of recording this. So that's, yeah, cool. Yeah, let's get to 100. Let's get to 100 by the end of the, end of the end of the weekend. Let's do that. I should have like four or five uploads by the end of the weekend. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good goal. Maybe not. Maybe by the end of season two of Korra, we'll, we'll get 100 subs. Anyways, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I obviously have a ton of questions in this episode, so make sure to comment stuff I might have missed. Um, don't spoil, though, as I was saying in the intro or the intro or the middle episode discussion. Yeah, make sure not to spoil. But yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Have a good weekend, too, I guess. <laughs> this will be a Friday upload, so yeah, have a good one. <laughs>